So thanks for coming. Recording is on. We're just going to take a minute to ground. Um, we're going to ground. I'm going to do some acknowledgements. We're going to walk through or talk through what we're going to do. And then we're going to do what we're going to do. So for grounding practice, I want to offer you the practice of just looking around the room where you are. Um, so this will just help us locate ourselves in space. So wherever you're staying or the home or the room that you're in, um, just taking a look around, looking to one side, noticing color or light or texture. There's no right way or wrong way to look around a room. Just maybe looking at the corners of the room. Taking in what you can see. Locating ourselves in space, in the place where we are. If it's available to you, looking down towards your feet or down towards the ground. Maybe taking a breath in, the body landing as best it can. Uh, thanks for coming tonight. I wanted to do a specific group for frontline workers um, for obvious reasons. And those obvious reasons are that the degree of stress you all are under is in, in your face in the way that it is in your faces. Um, and I wanted to offer something that you can use, you know, in a pinch uh, as a daily practice. Uh, that was one point that I will mention that um, like a, you know, real quick line towards regulating the nervous system and calming our shen or spirit. And I'll mention that as we go through. Um, and I really wanted to offer a space that was in the Zoom way, in this online way, able to hold perhaps the greater or lesser, I can't really qualify it, but the degree with which um, you all are experiencing your day-to-day -day lives and the frontline work that you're doing, whatever that is. So thank you for coming. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I acknowledge the land and the indigenous caretakers of the land where I am and wherever you are. I am here on Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, and Huron Wendat territory, and I offer this work as a settler on this land. I have a long way to go in honoring my responsibilities here, and one way is this, especially as I am and we are connecting with universal ki or chi all around us. Um, the sequence uh, we're practicing today is from the Zen Shiatsu style as taught by Kaz Kamiya, who learned from founder Shizuto Masanaga. It's an honor and a privilege to have learned this practice just one step away from its source and to be sharing it with you all today. With everything that's happening, there's, as you know, a great amount of stress and we're all doing what we can to get through and we are imperfectly or perfectly imperfect in all of that. So tonight we're gonna to learn one way to calm our shen or our heart spirit and to regulate the nervous system. I've been using this sequence in the morning as a way I added it into my morning uh, kind of routine that I have. Um, I wake up early to do it and I find it really effective in just offering me ground before I start the day. My day today was pretty hectic. I've got two kids. I deal with all my stuff, all the trauma and stress and different things that I deal with um, and parenting and being home in the state of the world. Um, and my day was very hectic. And I started today with this sequence. I did another practice um, throughout the day. And I find for me, at least, that uh, something that I can use with like two or five minutes can really work wonders for bringing my volume down. So I might be at a 10 or a 12. And if I can get down to an eight uh, or a six, maybe that can def or definitely does help me navigate the world. I want to do a uh, thank you to Orem for hosting and for doing the background tech of all of this and supporting me to bring this workshop forward. Um, we're going to go through and do the sequence and I will lead you through that more instructional style and then we'll do the sequence again 
Um, and I will still lead, but it'll be a little more quiet. And then at the end, if there's some time, uh, we can do more Q&A or if you have any more detailed questions. Like I said before, if you do have questions, please put them in the chat at any point. I wanna make sure you're understanding what we're offering and working with here. Um, yeah, so do use the chat to ask questions. Um, and we're gonna get started. Oh yeah, make sure you've washed your hands or you have hand sanitizer nearby. Um, and yeah, so making sure you're as comfortable as you can be wherever you're sitting. Um, you may want to get up and move around at some point or just move around wherever you are sitting. Um, so you might wanna make sure you have a bit of room around you. We are gonna be using our, our thumbs and our fingertips and our hands. Our arms will get a little bit tired as we go through and I will do breaks um, for our arms to rest and to shake our arms out. And then please take care of yourself as you know best. Um, if you get tired, along the way or anything like that just um, take care of yourself and then come back in as you can okay let's begin so we're going to start by rubbing our palms together we can do this for a little while start to feel some warmth and some heat The heart channel opens into the palms. So I like to think of this as one way we can warm up our love. With so much outpour, it can be hard to you turn the compassion back to self. And I'm not asking you to do that right now. What I love about the ways that traditional East Asian medicine can be applied is that in the technical aspects of what's happening in our hands right now, we don't have to will it to be there. The kindness and the care, the channels are opening just by moving our hands together. The warmth is showing up and that warmth will transmit. So we don't have to keep trying. I'm gonna speed up a little bit if that's available to you. I'm noticing one of my rings is bugging me, so I'm just gonna take that off. You might wanna do the same. And in a moment, uh, we're gonna take our, the palms of our hand over our eyes. So we'll just go a little faster. And then placing the palms over the eyes, take a nice breath in. And out. We're gonna start in the center of the forehead. There was a diagram that was sent in the event link um, that you might wanna access. And I'm gonna just share my screen now so that you can see it here as well. I know that makes me a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna move a little closer. So applying pressure with our fingertips to the center of the forehead, moving out to the side, just above the eyebrow and another point to the side, coming up a little bit to the middle of the forehead, we'll go center and again, side, side, just below the hairline, center, side, side, and down again to the center of the forehead, center, side, side, center, side, side, center, side, side. Let our arms go for a moment. And the pressure um, doesn't have to be super hard. You want your pressure to be firm, but nothing that is causing your face discomfort um, or your hands discomfort. And I say that with awareness. Some people, chronic pain may have discomfort anyway, so no increased discomfort. Bringing your hands up to the top of your head, right to the top. We're gonna press center side side again in three lines. So center, 
side, side, center, side, side, moving a little forward, center, side, side, center, side, side, into the hairline again, center, side, side, center, side, side. Gonna take our palms and press into the sides of the head, three spots again. So pressure one, moving back a little, pressure two, pressure three, one, two, three. Moving down closer to the ear, pressure one, two, three, one, two, three. Letting the arms rest again, maybe resting in your lap, maybe by your side, maybe closing your eyes. Maybe taking a breath. Waking up our hands again. We're gonna apply pressure to underneath our eyebrow bone. So I'm using the tops of my middle finger and a bit of my pointer finger. You use whatever feels best for you. So pressing upwards, center, moving out, side, side, center. You want gentle but firm, side, side. Coming to the bridge of the nose. Center, moving down, side, side, center, side, side. Just below the eyes now. And again, gentle but firm, center, side, side, center, side, side. And coming up to the temples, we're going to do nine rotations forward and back. You're going to take in a breath in as best you can. And hold. Six, seven, eight, nine. And the other direction, breathing in. Hold. Exhale, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Resting the arms. Bringing the arms up and in can help them um, save some energy, maybe for your body. I'm gonna press up on the cheekbones, so coming just below the cheekbones here, we're pressing up, gentle but firm, center, side, side, center, side, side, letting the jaw be slack, below the nose, above the upper lip, center, side, side, center, side. Side. That's great. Now we're going to take our thumb just below the chin and our four or three or four fingers on the chin and we'll, it's like a squeeze press. Center, side, side, letting the jaw be open. Center, side, side. Then we're going to do rotations again at the jaw. Do nine forwards and back. Hello, welcome to the person who just joined us. One, breathing in. And out, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And breathing in, going backwards. And out, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to move up the sides of our faces. So pressing in and up, just in front of the ear. 
all the way to the hairline. Let the jaw hang. Coming to the tops of the ears, we're going to gently pinch, gentle and firm, pinching and pulling up. Coming to the middle, pinching and pulling back. Coming to the earlobe, pinching and pulling down. And again. Take a rest with the arms. Maybe close your eyes, maybe not. Maybe looking around the room again. Noticing where the wall and the ceiling meet, or colors in the room, the light changing or not. Next, we're going to take our left hand to the right side of our neck. When I turn, let me see if I can get this out of the way. When I turn my head sideways, you can feel this ropey muscle group coming down here and starting just at the angle of my jaw to place my thumb in this muscle. Everybody's body's different, so there might be all kinds of different shapes and sizes, but the muscle group is there. And what we're going to do is do three pinches. One, and again, it's this kind of pinch like we did on the chin. So one, two, three, we do that twice and then we'll hold the center point. So finding that muscle group, we'll press one, two, three. One, two, three. And coming back to the center point, finding a place where you can hold it fairly comfortably, firmly, without blocking your breathing or creating great discomfort. It will probably feel tense. And we're gonna hold it for nine. I just have to get my own one in. Okay. And holding for nine, breathing in. And out, six, seven, eight, nine, letting go. At any point, if any of the moves we're doing aren't working for your body, um, please don't do anything that isn't possible for you comfortably or mostly comfortably. So taking your right hand over to the left side, we're going to do the same on the left side. So locating that ropey muscle group. There it is. I'm pressing one two, it's like a pinch, three, and again, one, two, three, then coming back to two, holding there for nine, breathing in, and out, six, seven, eight, nine, Letting go, letting the hands drop. Taking a breath, shaking out the arms. Next, we're gonna, I'm just gonna move a little closer. We're gonna cross our arms over our chest. And if you can see in the diagram, there's that dot that's kind of just above the armpit fold. So here's my armpit and this is where the point is. And don't worry about exactness. It's like wherever you feel anything that feels kind of juicy or bony or fleshy or muscly. It's, there's no right or wrong. We're going to press three times. One, and I'm using the, my uh, four fingers all together. Two, three. And we're going to come into the center, of collarbones. So finding, finding where your collarbone is. Coming into the center, there's a little dip in the sternum or the chest bone here. So just below that dip and a little bit out. We're going to go one, two, three, and then again, one, two, three, moving down. So one, two, three, and that's right on the chest bone. 
pressure that's comfortable for you. Two, three. I'm just going to stand up so you can see me moving down. One, two, three. One, two, three. And our final point soft, squishy part just below the hard sternum or chest bone, soft, squishy part here. We're gonna take both of our hands, so fingertips on fingertips, pressing in. We're gonna hold for nine, breathing in, holding, exhaling, six, seven, eight, nine. And letting the arms go. That's the whole sequence. Um, we won't do it again, but just take a moment. Maybe get some water. If anybody has any questions, please use the chat. I'll see them. You're doing great. Thanks for being here. Anybody watching the recording afterwards, I see you too. Hi. So like I said, we're gonna go through one more time. Find a place of your most comfort. We're gonna take our hands together. You do not have to do this, but I like to close my eyes. Whether your eyes are closed or open, bringing your awareness to the palms of your hands, to the underside of your fingers. Feeling the friction, sensations, tingling, warmth. The awareness of your key or your chi building here. heart channel opening into the palm, waking up the inherent flow of love. No pressure to have an open heart if you're feeling warm or if you are connected to that sense of open heart. And gratitude, gratitude either way for all that all of us are doing, mostly for how we're showing up in our lives, for being here right now, for watching this video at any point. We're going to go faster, and in a moment, we'll place our palm over our eyes and let the eyes take in the warmth off the deck. Letting the eyes soften. There's a lot of rubbing. I'm just going to shake my arms out. Coming to the center of the forehead, center, side, side, center, side. Moving up a notch, center, side, side, center, side, side. Just below the hairline, center, side, side. That's great, center, side, side. Letting the arms relax. I'm just going to stop sharing my screen so that you can see me up close more. Okay, coming to the top of the head. Center. Side. Side. 
center, side, side, leaning forward slightly, center, side, side, center, side, side, to the hairline, center, side, side, center. Side, side. More breaks for the arms, second time around. As I rest my arms, perhaps lengthening the spine, if that's available to you. Regrounding through your feet or your seat. You can now bring our arms to the side of the head at the temples and apply pressure. Pressure one, two, one, two, three. Closer to the ear now, three, two, three, one. Two, three, dropping the arms again, taking a breath in, and out. Coming to just below the eyebrow, pressing up, center, side, side, center. Side, side, sides of the nose, center, moving down, side, side. Below the eye. Coming to the temples, breathing in, moving forward at first. Six, seven, exhale, eight, nine, going backwards, breathing in. Exhale, six, seven, Nine. <sighs> Resting the arms. Coming back, pressing up on the cheekbone, center. And the jaw be slack as possible above the lip. Center. Grasping the chin. Rotating at the jaw, forward, inhaling. Exhaling, seven, eight, nine, and backwards, inhaling. Exhaling, seven, eight, nine. Moving up the sides of the face in front of the ear. And again, grasping the ears, pressure pulling in.
Letting the arms drop. Moving your bodies in ways that it wants to move. Doing what feels best for you. Sending these points on your neck, resting and pinching the arms. Cool. Holding the second point, breathing in. Exhaling. Eight, nine, letting go. Resting the arms, letting go of everything, everything possible to let go. Grasping the other side of your neck. Finding that muscle grip, one, two, three. Holding for nine. Five, six, seven, eight. Letting go. Crossing your hands over your chest. Pressing into the front of your chest, just above the armpit fold, wherever that lands for you. One, two, three. center of your chest, feeling for this little notch, pressing on the chest bone. It's gonna move in. One, two, three, that's great. Two, three, moving down. One, two, Three, one, two, three. Finding the squishy part just below the chest bones here and then the squishy part here. When we breathe in, having the inhalation as best we can meet the tips of the fingers. So pressure on top of pressure, pressing in, inhaling into the fingers. Exhale, six, seven, eight, nine. Letting all of that go. Take a moment just to sit together. If you want to, if that feels good for you. If you're sitting here or laying down or standing, um, you can close your eyes if you want to, or you can cast your eyes down or leave your eyes open. Making sure you are comfortable as you can be. Noticing the heat in your hands, the warmth there. Maybe sensations of tingling or vibration or nothing or probably warmth, none of the others. Maybe not, maybe cold. Whatever's there offering gratitude to your fingertips and hands. Thank you, hands. bringing awareness to your feet or your seat. 
where you're making contact with the chair, the bed, the floor, connecting with the floor that you are on, that floor connected to walls, that walls in a building connected to earth, grounding, maybe grounding just a little bit, maybe not. Maybe floating. Taking a deep breath in. Noticing if there's anything different or anything that stayed the same or changed. No pressure. And then just coming back. So if your eyes were closed, opening your eyes. Wiggling your fingers and toes. Moving as your body wants to move. Taking a moment again to look around the room. Wherever you're sitting. Here you are. Here we are. That is the sequence. Thank you for joining, uh, joining in tonight, joining me, joining us, me with Oram, um, and all of us here. Thank you so much. If anybody has any questions, I will hang out here for a few more minutes and you can ask me through the chat. You did it, way to go. I hope this helps. The point that I was referring to that's a quick, like direct vagal nerve calm down point is this one, the second point on the middle of the neck. Um, I apologize, I forgot to mention as we went through, but that is the one. So yeah, feel free to use this sequence as a daily practice. Um, share it with your friends in a Zoom room if you have one. Uh, do it one more time in your whole entire life, maybe, and just benefit from what we did here tonight. If you're in a pinch, um, you can do this sequence in five minutes if you do it quickly, or it can take 20 minutes or half an hour if you want to do it longer. You're so welcome. Thanks for coming. Um, and that quick one is the, it's easier for a crossover, but that's right above the vagus, A vagus nerve bundle. Um, and it's stomach point, or sorry, acupoint stomach nine. It's on the stomach channel. And it's great at sending everything down. So that's a quick, quick one. If you're in a pinch and you really need to calm down quickly, that might help. Maybe coming from a 12 down to an eight, a 10 to a six. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm obviously not sure what it would do for you. But um, yeah, I'm seeing some questions here. Question about contraindication for pregnancy. There are some points on the top of the shoulder that are, um, but I didn't do those ones. Um, you're so welcome, everyone. And if anybody, uh, this is, oh, I'm so glad you feel amazing. Um, this is absolutely free. If you want to make a donation, they're more than welcome to. Um, that can be made to Orem. And if anybody is interested or you know anyone who's interested, next week I'll be doing starting a four-week series of skills for grief and grieving that's using uh, shiatsu meridian stretching, maybe some of this self-shiatsu and presence um, to just, yeah, to hold space for grief and grieving. Um, and there are some free spots available there. There's a couple of uh, sponsored spots that just came open, and it's also... Um, on a, not quite a sliding scale, but a, it's 80 bucks and there's a coupon code too. All those details will get sent to you. Um, yeah, if there's any other questions, go for it. If there are any other questions, uh, I look for you, for you being here and finding, I wanna celebrate that you took the time out to do this tonight. Um, yeah, thank yourself, give yourself a pat on the back. You're so welcome.
Thank you for the recommend for grief work. Yeah. Okay, everyone, I'm going to sign off unless there's any other questions. Um, thank you for joining in tonight and to anybody watching the video after or on Facebook Live. Hi, I see you too. Take care of yourselves out there. Staying resilient, staying connected. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Aram. <laughs>